thing about art is everybody's entitled to their own interpretation of what it could be and what it could mean creators that push push themselves creatively to create something so dynamic intrinsic and so you know complicated at the same time i applaud you guys for that not only that the individuals that are actually helping these artists gain from that labor I applaud you for that too it brings me to today's guest goes by the name of emmanuel emmanuel is someone who started an organization called definition art it strives to actually get artists paid and to be honest it's something that's that's been lacking for a while especially in namibia a lot of artists are being screwed over and it's just it's just amazing to see that someone had the initiative to be like no let's get these guys paid because what they're doing is creating something that like once in a lifetime type of thing right and uh by all means i i just had to reach out once i found out what definition art was all about i had to reach out to who the owner was and uh you know everything went well and emmanuel came through and it's my first time meeting him as well and to say the least one of the most down-to-earth individuals as well like, i think all my oh, i think all my guests have been so cool lately i can I don't, i'm actually at a loss of words but i hope you guys enjoyed today's show because he really goes in as far as talking about him his struggles and creating this hub where artists are able to sell their art and gain from their art it's basically what the, what this is all about man it's all about in love wealth Enjoy today's show yeah slick slick uh, Chicago Slick uh-huh. is is the comedian that I know that I talk to the most, yeah. and I ask him, I ask him every now and then, maybe like twice a year. Do you get tired of people laughing at things that you say, but you're not even trying to make a joke? And he was like, yeah, 100. percent Sometimes I'm just greeting people, and I say, yo, you enjoy your night last night? Yeah, I saw you guys heavy drunk last. Night. <laughs> They're just laughing. Because he's a comedian, and they know he's a comedian. The delivery, I guess. Mm. And then, ah, uh, the delivery. <laughs> That's what makes it people laugh. But he's not even trying. Oh yeah, it might be the delivery. Yeah, a lot it of comedians like that. Might be the delivery. Yeah. But he's pissed off about that shit. He he's, <laughs> he's, he's he doesn't like that shit. He's like, I just want to have a genuine conversation <laughs> with some people sometimes, and he's like, oh no, they're just laughing. Um, Damn, that sucks. Yeah, but have serious. a comedian over. Yeah, that yeah, would be cool. I'll definitely. I'll be so mm-hmm. we are live what's up everybody and welcome back to the state of mind podcast and today i have the founder co-founder or founder founder there we founder. go yeah he, he's not fucking with y'all but <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the founder of definition art you know hey man nice to meet you patrick likewise man we are First here time. we are here yeah yes. delayed but we're here <laughs> delayed delayed by a yeah. week like yeah. a week five days it's way uh, too long man yeah, yeah. It's way too long. <laughs> but thank you for doing this, man. Yeah, no, no. Hey, this is this is podcast as we just talked about that, bro. This yeah. is real. You got all the equipment here, you know, everything's Fine. got the you got the, the what was this thing called again? Oh, that's the audio interface. The audio interface, he's got the table. Yeah. Uh, I wouldn't say what he has else on the table, but yeah, bro. It's but you're enjoying it though. <laughs> it is, it is, it's good. I still can't see the, the level. This this oh, really? uh, can't see the level. Yeah, you can that's that's what's so fucking interesting about it. Oh, it's it's and torture. Sleek, and it's torture. It's fuck. It's torture. I just like the design. It is, yeah. It's a dope. It's a dope as design. Yeah, it's it a dope knocked me design. the fuck out the first time I had it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, I don't know. Cheers, <laughs> <Jesus, laughs> bro. Yeah. So, uh, Emmanuel, man, uh, thank you so much for being here. Uh, but one of the few reasons I brought you here is because you started a thing called Definition Art. Mm-hmm. Before we get into that, why don't you explain to the people who you are and how, and how this concept of business idea actually started yeah so emmanuel and Cara, so like jesus christ yeah. i was art was focal to me back in the day bro like so you it, never nah it was football okay it was football okay. uh which is every black little man's namibian man's i you know dream yeah, yeah when yeah. they're five six years old mm-hmm. you know just playing football orangamund i was born in orangamund okay so the stories are from Orangamund is that we have a, a ra ra uh, accent, right? Ra ra right. accent, and because we are hibernated, we act differently when we go to other towns and shit like that. 
which is kind of which is kind of true oh it's true because I, I, I know a couple of y'all <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah I, I know it too many yeah, yeah. <laughs> so and and so orangamund was like incubation and then i remember coming to ventuk a few times i only remember eating at saddles which is like totally gone now it mm. was a restaurant saddles saddles Saddles. Oh, okay. <laughs> it was like it was dope as ribs and everything like that. Mm-hmm. But Vin took Orangamund most of the time. Vin took like once a year. Then I was just like a guy, bro. I was just like a guy. You can like um, my parents said that I must learn English because they wanted me to progress in life. Yeah. Oh wow. So I have three older sisters, right? Mm-hmm. So I was pampered when I was when I was a young kid. I actually had to learn gain testosterone later on in life <laughs> but but it <laughs> sounds so sad but it, it is it is it is okay so um what's this but they my parents taught me english they were just talking to me in english 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 and then um which is why now i can't really speak Oshwamba that that well mm, um okay. but you're trying though so uh, bro i need to go to classes i need to go mm. to classes straight up because i don't think there's any way else i'm gonna you know learn i have to go to classes sure. and the NT, uh good to center so good to center i might be coming for you you guys must give me a post for free or something like that <laughs> but either way you just promoted them yeah yeah good to center <laughs> but uh shout out <laughs> and then went to cape town and that was the first seed cape town 13 years old high school went to cape town did primary school in orangman went to cape town uh, went with other bunch of orangman people but it was still football induced, my bro. Like, hey, we are going to Cape Town for high school now. No, we are closer to the dream, huh? Yeah. We are closer to the dream, yes. huh? Let's go play for the PSL first and oh. then we go to the <laughs> English Premier League. And Transition. Play. My man. It was all about football, bro. Fuck studies. Oh, bro, we were just getting 51s. Just get your 51, boys. I just get your 51. Oh, oh my God. So we, we landed in Cape Town and it was, it was, uh, it was very different very different and that difference it changes the mind so quickly the first year in cape town i couldn't even believe it man we're in a hostel just a guy's hostel bro and these white boys these white boys are crazy bro these <laughs> white boys are crazy like they run around and they hit people and shit yeah. um there wasn't any um you know the guy's hostel you would think that there's homophobic you know actions like there's probably one or two there were probably one or two yeah. guys that were actually gay but we never it was the comrad camar- i can't say that camaraderie camaraderie <laughs> that one <laughs> there's like few words that i can't say decision yes. uh-huh. specific uh-huh. and that word i feel like statistics was a problem for me at the point i, I just i just fuck around and say statistics yeah that shit fucked up yeah even in a <laughs> even in an mbc interview uh, can you please say the statistics <coughs> for us, Emmanuel? So the statistics, I'll try and make like a joke. Yeah. Because yeah, I'm not yeah. gonna say that word fully. But I, stats, man. Fuck stats. Yeah. Much better. Stats. Yeah, <laughs> stats. <laughs> it's being <But> difficult. <laughs> it just reminds me of that lady that said to that other sports lady, "Ah, uh-uh, that is not how you introduce me. Start again, please." Oh, that shit was hilarious. You know, I was at a point where I thought I was the only one who saw it because I was watching news. And I was like, "Were you watching it live?" I was watching it live. So I'm like. Am I the only one that saw this? And literally five minutes later, the memes are popping. Oh, yeah, five minutes later. <laughs> and oh, I was like, oh, so yeah. people were watching. <laughs> <laughs> no, that was excellent. Excellent. Yeah, that was, that was Instant hero. Amazing. I'd love to yeah. talk to him as well. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you should give me like a good outro or some shit. It was that one person, Julia, Julia Haita, the lady that goes around with the cameras. Oh, yeah. Uh, when people are getting arrested and curfew time she's the one that runs around with the police and stuff like that yeah yeah, yeah. Thank ah. you much. but that'll be an obvious choice to interview that's true yeah. but yeah i'm not trying to be biased but yeah the, the hostel cape town yeah cape town. rugby 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 football rugby football mm. and i was turning into a very um rebellious young man I remember in grade eight, you see there's order marks that you get. If you get into trouble, you get like four order marks. That's like minimum. Minimum is two, but generally it's four. And then you get six. And if you get six, then you are gated for like, or you grounded for like a day in the weekend, which is essentially Friday. Mm-hmm. So if like, so we in the hostel, there's white boys that are staying in the hostel from Monday to Friday, and then they go home from Friday to Sunday, and then mm-hmm. they come back. 
So we, as Namibians, we're there the whole fucking time. So if we get gated, like a few privileges take, get taken away, we have to use uniform, we have to wear uniforms the whole weekend. We have to go dig sand and shit. We have to go... That sounds like a concentration camp, dude. <laughs> on so many levels. Who was, who was the headmaster at that time? He's still alive. Mr... Ah, damn, it, my niggas who are listening to this will be very sad that I can't mention this guy's name. Oh, Fuck, Mr. Foyer. Was it Mr. Foyer? Yeah, it was Mr. Foyer. Yo, he was he was hard. Mm. He was hard. These guys were hard, bro. And that brought out my rebellious side. It was me and my nigga Figo. We were the two that were in trouble the most. I still have the record for the most order marks in one day. Or in one sitting. In one setting. I was doing... I was like, I got like 64 order marks in one day, which is like a record. So it totaled to like 80 because I got order marks during the week. So I was gated for like four weekends in a row. I was just digging sand. I was a troublemaker. But in, 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 in the flip side, I was a respectable young man. Like people were telling me that I was going to be the head mm -hmm. of the hostel. Because I was bringing everyone together and shit like that. It still brings a tear to my eye, cuz. It still brings a tear to my eye because mm -hmm. grade 8, grade 9, grade 10, grade 11. Grade 11, I snuck out and I got caught. Um, and that was my third strike. So I got suspended, right? I just had to stay at someone else's house. I couldn't stay in the hostel. But my parents thought I was expelled. So they fucking oh. brought me back <coughs> to Namibia. Okay. 2007. And that was Cape Town for me, right? Okay. And that still hurts me. But uh, that's like trauma. If, if, if somebody has to ask me, what are the traumatic things in your life? That is trauma. That's okay. one. So, Vintuk, St. George's. Um, I love you, St. George's, but I've heard stories mm -hmm. after I've left. So, yeah. Dude, St. George's. All, all these fucking schools are some weird shit. Yeah. Yeah, and just look because I don't know. Me and my friend were talking about some this. patriarchy shit. Yeah, bro. man, we we're talking about this shit like a couple of months ago. We just started to realize how racist these fucking schools were. Mm, 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 mm. Luckily, luckily there were a couple of teachers who, yeah, who just made it seem okay, or it not seem okay, but they just made things better for us. Yeah, because I think they also understood what the fuck was going on. It's like weird, man. Like I sometimes I don't I can differentiate between a. German and an Afrikaner, right? Mm -hmm. But the real uh, as it comes when they, <laughs> they conjoin, when they like mixed, it's like a full on like. And there were a few of those. But but the teachers that we had, Ms. Rooston, our English teacher, I forget her name. They were brilliant, mm -hmm. brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. The English teacher was putting on a show, man. I don't know if she was real like that, but if she was real like that, she was probably one of the best people I've ever met in my life. Uh, but. St. George's was St. George's. Um, started hanging around it with the Vintu crew and shit. Uh, great. 2018, Vintu crew again. Started drinking now. Depression now started. Now this, if you're talking about Emmanuel's lifetime, mm -hmm. depression started 2008. Depression, depression, depression. I didn't know what the fuck I wanted to do. Um, I could mm -hmm. draw. This is, where, this is where it comes into now. Yeah, okay. I could draw... So I just finished high school, 2008. I went to go do some subjects over Tucson, whatever, mm -hmm. 2008. Uh, so 2009, essentially, I'm um, high school done, right? I don't know what the fuck I wanted to do. Uh, I could draw. That's the only thing I could do. Like, I could draw very well. Okay. Um, I still can. Like, I can draw. If somebody sits for an hour, I can draw their face, like, exactly with a pencil. Mm, so you did illustrate? Uh, sketching, yeah, sketching, sketching. sketching. So... Um, my dad was like architecture, architecture, and I was like, okay, cool. Uh, do motherfuckers make money out of that shit? They were yeah. like, yeah. Then I was like, okay, cool. I'll try and do that shit. Mm -hmm. Is there architecture here? No, there isn't. Two thousand nine, there wasn't any architecture. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, at okay. Nast or anything like that. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. So I fucking uh, diddle daddled. Oh my god, I can't even tell you how many schools I've been to, bro. I went to Nast, mm -hmm. dropped out of that shit. I went to IUM, dropped out of that shit. 2000 and 2012, I went to Russia for my first stint in architecture. 
some Russian fucking lady was advertising shit in the newspaper and my dad was like yo there's architecture here maybe we can go and it was kind of cheaper there because the currency is like one to three in russia okay. yeah the ruble is whack wait that was then what, I was, I was it's still still now oh really mm-hmm. one thousand dollars is three thousand dollars there although but their yeah. packet of chips their packet of small lays mm-hmm. is like labeled 30 bucks oh so, wait no it's labeled like <laughs> Like labeled like forty bucks, because mm-hmm. if you divide it by three, it comes like ten or eleven dollars, million dollars. So it's essentially the same thing. Never be yeah, yeah. Not too bad. But it's it's so dope when you have like three thousand euros. It's crazy. You can drink a lot with that. Can you imagine? Mm-hmm. And it's home with a vodka. Mm-hmm. Just stereotyping. <laughs> no, no, you're not. No, you're not. No, you're not. They love vodka. Ooh. Okay, so you spent what? That was like a year. A year in Russia. Okay. I can speak Russian now. Yeah, Gavrish Paruski Numenoga for everyone that knows Russian. Yeah. Uh, that was an actual sentence. I Me. said that. I can speak <laughs> Russian a little bit. Yeah, Gavrish Paruski. Man, you're lucky I don't understand that shit. <laughs> I, I'm just like, mm-hmm. I'm going to Google this shit later. <laughs> <laughs> so a year there, uh, now that was architecture. And I was doing fucking well, Boza. I was mm-hmm. doing fucking well. I was doing fucking well. Like, I'm, I'm not going to... My parents must fucking hear this shit because... They think that when I came back, I, I had to do 12 subjects all in Russian language, science in Russian language, maths in Russian language. Do you get like a gap year to actually learn? Uh, no, no, no. Whoa. When you land, you land in the snow and land in the snow and the next day you go to class. You just come into the deep end, huh? Yeah. We were fucking at the airport, brah. The airport. Don't play with these niggas. These niggas do not know English. You go to the airport. International Moscow fucking Moscow fucking airport. Mm-hmm. Brah. You say hello. Like, bring bring an English person here. Bring an English person here. We don't understand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're like, niet, niet, niet. Niet. <laughs> we were shitting ourselves because it's a racist fucking country. We thought we were going to get slaughtered. Like the movie Hotel and shit like that. Mm. But we made it. I made it there into the hostel. Um, studied out of you have to really pass the language, uh, the subject of Russian itself, mm. and I failed that by three marks, and I protested, protested <coughs> for a while, and they said, "Nah, man, nah, man, you just have to bounce." So I bounced, but my sketching, my maths, my science was excellent, man. So I came back, and this is where. The question of Emmanuel and art begins. I came back from architecture 2013, 2012, and I went back to Cape Town to rehabilitate. What's the word? Rehabilitate or um, to Reignite. find closure. Oh, okay. Because, of course, I was expelled mm-hmm. or suspended, and my parents thought I was expelled. Mm. So I left in bad blood. So I, when I went back uh, 2013, stayed in Rondebosch. And anyone that knows Rondebosch knows what art is. If you stay a year in Rondebosch, you are essentially going to become like an artist. Because the people around there, the people just walking by there, the, vegi- the vegetation, what there's an opera house there, like right there. Um, the, the, the funky people that stay there, bro, it's so funky. So I stayed a year in Rondebosch, did a year in Town Town, Cape Town, two years in Cape Town Town. Mm-hmm. And that was also trippy, man. Just going down to Long Street and seeing the art on the walls and the graffiti, the graffiti. Meeting, going to the bars and drinking with these people that they talk funny things. You understand? Mm. And I had that closure now because Cape Town was taken away from me. Um, so I went back for four years and I studied architecture and I studied business management and um, doped all of that shit because <laughs> of this guy. All right. Okay. Yeah, and I, I feel uh, guilty for giving it to you. No, 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 no. no. Yeah. Those, those, those demons okay. have been uh, extinguished long time. Mm. Um, but yeah, I came back in 2018 to Namibia. Um, no papers, mm-hmm. a lot of experience, but no papers. Uh, uh, essentially, a drunkard. You know, I started <laughs> drinking mm-hmm. again, but then I was like, "Yo, you're 28 now, bro. You're getting." Um, and I'll be real about you. You're getting one thousand dollars from your from your dad every month. That's the only money you make. You're twenty eight. Mm-hmm. You're twenty eight. I was like, okay, cool. Oh wow. With the hybrids, ghosts. 
<laughs> what is what is the classical name for a, a dog again? A dog. Yeah. The classification name like the scientific name. Canine? Canine. Oh, Canine. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> and a cat is feline. Canine. Is it? Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. So, so essentially you're getting a thousand dollars but you don't know what the fuck to do. Yeah. You are going you are at this at this stage in your life you are depressed. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Nah, I, I, I know what you mean, man. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I know what you mean. Mm-hmm. So okay, that was happening, 2018. 2018. Yeah, yeah. Crazy I was performing yeah. and then performing uh, as in yeah. Like, this is where spoken I spoken word. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, so you're yeah. poet as well. Yeah. <laughs> so li- literally anything leading to art involved. Yes, yes. Very nice. Um, I would say if people ask me like when I wear a definition of art, what do you do? Mm-hmm. Like, are you an artist yourself? And I'm like, yeah, bro. I'm, I'm, I'm it a poet. Makes sense. Can only make sense. There's no business band that can do what we're doing. Like, oh, but okay. Look, look at this. Uh, the Spotify owner. Uh, so ba- I just, this is just something I read. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So basically, banged three point two billion, mm-hmm. right? And he's not a fucking songwriter. He literally knows nothing about the music industry, or whatever. And then like he banged so much. And I think it's one of these these woke posts, man. But I found it interesting. Cause I'm mm-hmm. like, oh wow. Like, no? That's that's it an example possible. right there. It is possible. It is possible. Yeah. I w- I won't put it down on 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 fact. Yeah, but this is about you though. So, <laughs> word word word. Yeah. Um. Yeah. I was performing as a rap. I was rapping on stage, mm-hmm. and I, was, I wore a blindfold when I was rapping, and my name was Theory. So, it's very special. And I think I might do this shit next year. Um. But, uh, I had a crew. Two girls, two guys, and we performed uh, stories on stage while I was rapping. So the first one was like I won't go through all of them because they're long, but we performed essentially for like thirteen minutes, eight minutes, ten minutes on stage, mm. and me rapping in between and in between, and uh, we were telling stories. The first story was what was the first fucking story? Uh, my my fast my f- fantasy or my fascination with death and reincarnation. So, okay. essentially, I was cleaned on stage. The, one of the actors was cleaning me, and there was a piano playing, and uh, my shirt was off, and I wasn't rapping and shit. Uh, and she cleans me, and then I start rapping, and then I die. There was an entity that the piano, violin, woo, woo, very good. And I watch a lot of m- movies, mm-hmm. so I took soundtracks from movies and I cut them up into these into these things. Okay. Um, and we did one for women's rights where women kills like a group of women kill us at the end um because we're boasting we were like whipping them on stage the warehouse bro at the warehouse yeah those had some weird shows yeah yeah yeah. (laughs) weird shows and the last one was um uh adam and eve before it closed or before it transitioned before it it transitioned okay yeah before it transitioned Um, so i was performing there Mm -hmm. and ashwin um moribi like you know Ashwin right sounds familiar yeah I'm, I'm not good with faces I'm just I'm good with names yeah <laughs> Ashwin yeah he's, okay. he's the only Ashwin I know in Namibia which is weird uh, fair like enough <laughs> yeah <laughs> and he was the he was like the art like he was like the art guy that really helped me like like break out into art man mm-hmm. like really break out into it mm-hmm. and I was like but I was like fuck man I'm almost I'm 29 now it's now 2019 yeah and I'm fucking rapping, bro, and like you know, I'm think I'm smarter than that. Mm-hmm. Or like you know, I'm smart to write rhymes. I'll kill anybody, mm-hmm. kill anybody. Right. I will, I will, I will. I, I can't wait. Next year, I'm actually going to release something. Bust a couple of rounds. I'm going to fucking <laughs> kill niggas, bro. Cause yeah, I'm I'm really gonna kill niggas, bro. Like, but yeah, mm-hmm. um, I was like, nah, man, this is not financially, st- uh, you know, sound. Yeah. But I was with my my ex girlfriend and we're just talking and we're like drink we still drink me and my ex were like drinking mm-hmm. at our house and they were like where can we go but there's no fucking place to go like there's no it's just to the bars and then home like mm-hmm. Namibia maybe has foco and i was like oh public art oh, public art mm-hmm. and august 2019 is where everything changed i said there's no fucking public art in namibia okay august 2019 so the people who are listening to this don't fucking say. Damn, you 
defensive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Sorry, so this is this is coming back to why I'm pissed today. Yeah, yeah. This is coming back to why I'm pissed today. But I'm yeah. gonna talk about it. Yeah, yeah, we, yeah don't worry. <laughs> in phrases, in phrases, in code, you know, yeah, nigga yeah. code. I got you. <laughs> so uh, I got that shit registered like ASAP, man. I mm-hmm. went to people uh, 2020, February, January. Put the papers together, bro. Uh, like concept, like is it feasible? Is it feasible? how is it gonna work? You can. It was just me in my room now. Yeah. Just me in my room now. Listening to two albums, um, Michael Kiwanuka's um, Kiwanuka album mm-hmm. and Unknown Unknown Mortal Orchestra number two, album two. Those two albums I listened to for a period of like two months in my room at three o'clock in the morning, every fucking morning, putting together the, the, the paperwork for what I think is a feasible idea, which is public art. Mm-hmm. I'll never forget that shit. Because I was just a nigger in a room. And everyone will say, oh, you're a business guy now, you're a founder, you don't know what we struggle through and shit like that. Oh, Mata, I know those three o'clock you mornings. Those. I know those mornings, mm-hmm. bro. So then I got it registered, and then COVID hit. February. Boom. Mm. COVID. Crazy. But I put the team together. I got two architects. I got a project manager, I got a brand ambassador, I got a social media person. In that year, started slowly emailing businesses and shit like, is this a good idea? Like, would you give us like a recommendation, Shandy? Mm. Let uh, Dololo were the only motherfuckers that gave me a recommendation to say this is a good idea. Shout out to them. Though. Shout out to Dololo. Yeah, they were actually looking out for the dreamers. Word, word, word. And the, uh, I'm sorry, he's... I, there's no other way to describe him but the owner or the founder mm-hmm. um, is a white guy, tall white guy. Mm-hmm. I saw him in a bar once and somebody said, that's the guy. And mm-hmm. I was like, oh shit, I was supposed to f- say hello to him. Mm-hmm. Say thank you because he signed off on that letter. Nice. Um, yeah, so I took the idea to City of Vintuk as well. They told me they don't have a public art policy. All the politics, the politics went and when 2021 comes. No, mm-hmm. the end of 2020 comes. Yeah. So now let me go into definition art. Sorry for the people that were like, when is this nigga going to talk about definition art? Man? Yeah, it's happening now. Because <laughs> I'm also just laying back, <laughs> just listening. <laughs> so, so yeah. I want, we wanted to do, uh, what is this? Murals at the mall. Mm. Mara Mall. That, that would have been dope. It's still going to happen. Still really? might happen. Still process? might happen. Yeah, the, it's still in process. Yeah, okay. the, the walls are still there. So we said, I went there and I spoke to the people. Um, uh, RX Properties, who manage Mara mm-hmm. And they were like, yeah, you can take this wall, you can take this wall. I was like, oh shit, dope. Oh, they actually... Oh, oh they, were, they were very good. Very good. Still good. So they are still good. That's pretty cool. And then they said, don't you want a space in the mall? Now, this is heavy COVID now. Shit. This is... October 2020 and the stores were closing in the mall Mm -hmm. and it was barren and shit. So I was like, oh, my nigga, like I do public art. We are a non-profit organization. I don't know what I'm going to do in the mall. What am I going to do in the mall? And she was like, hey, bro, just think about it. Um, We have a space. We can really reduce the rent and shit Uh, like a pop-up basis. You know, you can do three months and then you can see if it works or not. Then I was like, okay, cool. All right, let me go conceptualize. And that is where definition art began. I was like, what am I going to do? I said to myself, one thing that's lacking in Namibia is the uh, abstract, temporary appreciation for art. Okay. Now, we, we, are, we are on par with our traditional art. Oh, 100%. Mm-hmm. That's uh, Peter Mufangweni, you know, this is a John Mufangweni painting and stuff like that. I'm not too familiar with the Namibian artist. Um, John, yeah. Like you. Uh, I even butchered his surname here. Yeah. <laughs> so um, don't worry. Okay. <laughs> and there's a Peter, uh, the Papa, the guy with the Rasta hairs. Um, I'm very bad with names. What's the dude that does the nail thing? Oh, that's Daku. Ah. That's Daku. That's, that's that, dope. That guy's turning into one of my niggas. Yeah? Like, yeah, yeah. I thought that guy was an arrogant. I thought the guy was an arrogant guy, bro. But when I met the guy, the guy bought the fucking nail thing to one of our exhibitions. Oh. It's huge, bro. It's huge. It's like it's it's huge, and it, they used. I remember this number: twenty-eight thousand 
959 nails to do that art piece. And I was like, my man, this is not Namibia, bro. This is Europe. This is Europe. You're putting two, 28,000. This is Europe. You have to you have to try and get to Europe like somehow or mm-hmm. get this piece to Europe. Don't let a Namibian buy this. Are you mad? This is a hundred thousand type worth type things or like fifty thousand type worth type things. How much do you sell it for? Can that I be think disclosed? in the tens. Oh, I think in the tens, oh, which is not what it's worth. I think it's worth like at least thirty, at least thirty thousand. Right. Either way, so but uh, shit. So now I'm looking at. Contemporary art. Mm-hmm. I'm like, okay, let me go into the mall and sell contemporary art. So I, p- I get shit from the house, bro. Like a table, got tafura. I get like the fucking chairs and shit. Where are you taking the chairs? I'm just, I've got a place at the mall now. You understand? So it's 2020, last year, October. Mm. My parents know Foco. No, they don't know that I've registered public art. Mm-hmm. They, I'm still getting $1,000. Last year, <laughs> so I go to the mall now, yeah. And again, fuck, I need funds. Mm-hmm. I need interior funds. Mm-hmm. So I ask my my dad for the funds. He says fuck no, and uh, then I ask everyone in the family was like fuck no, nigga, don't take that chance. You have to focus on the public art. That's so casual, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so my sister was the only one. Donata, she was the only one that said, "Nah, nigga, mm. you must go, because even if you fail, you have a re- you have you you've gotten that fucking thing that you can put on a paper and say I was at the mall for mm. at least three months. You understand? Mm. They gave you they're giving you three months. Credibility, credibility. Shout out to the system, man. Word, word, out, out, forever, forever. So grateful. I shout out to her, man. So she gave me like um, half of the funds. The topi gave the other half. I mm. went to the mall. We had our opening. Um, which side? Which side of the mall? My real mall, like that uh, shit. Lower level. Mm. It's where that leather. You know, Shilongo's leather. Mm-hmm. It's where it is now. It's down. It's like mug and bean, and then you go. It's in that mug and bean. The ATMs that ATMs that everyone fucking goes to. Yeah. And then you go into that long straight to food lovers market at the mm-hmm. end. Yeah, so we were in the middle of that. There's like a little staircase and we're in the middle of that. Oh. Mm. Hmm. So we were there. We opened up um, 2020, December 11th. Opened. Mm-hmm. We had a listening party for Kid Cudi's new album, Man on the Moon 3. Nice. That's what our, that's what our, st- our staple was. And people really, d- just a broad spectrum of definition art, people don't really understand that we are... Myself and my events manager, Charlie Nikundi, and Tamsin, who is our creative designer, the group of us is just us three. And the, as the group of us, we are, we are very abstract consumers of art. I mean, to have Kid Cudi as our opening night already tells you that, my man, we're not fucking around with this shit, bro. Like, we know good music. Mm-hmm. We think we know good music. We think we know good film, because film is my personal favorite art form. Um, and I think I have the ability as a poet and as a, as a writer to help people understand what art is, like how to appreciate art. Mm. When you look at a piece that you buy and you put it in your house, how it breathes in your house, how it uh, sustains life in your space, uh, who it was created by, even if the artist can't explain what they did, that's 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 when I become art alive. Art is really your own interpretation, mm-hmm. just like music. Mm-hmm. A lot of people get me seeing some really fucked up shit, but at the end of the day, you take it. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Okay, fair enough. Yep, I'm catching on. <laughs> but <laughs> that's that was the first few months of the nation. So I was there alone. December, I was there alone for three months. And the mall have a policy that you have to open up every single day, Monday to Sunday. It's and fucked up. Yeah. And Monday to Friday is nine in the morning to seven at night. This every. Is, this is post COVID. This is during yeah. COVID. Pre, uh, pre, Pre-COVID. Post. post 2020, COVID? last year. December. So it was mad COVID. It was mad COVID. Ah, okay. But 
from 9 in the morning until 7 that are your hours mm-hmm. from monday to friday and then saturday and sunday saturday is from 9 to 5 and sunday is from 9 to 3 mm-hmm. for three months i was being that shit alone no shifts three months every single day monday to sunday I was at the mall three months every single day december february december january february every single day in february did i bring in my nigga charlie uh and other people that work for me and then we cut the thing up into shifts mm-hmm. but those three months was punishment for what i was doing in my 20s what i was doing before yeah i was fucked up mentally like i can't even t- when you when a customer comes inside i fucking act normal bro mm-hmm. you, you gotta act normal bro but you're not having a bad day when a customer comes in but i was fucked up mentally but I was like, this is the punishment. I'm still, pun- I'm still getting punished now because <coughs> of my drinking sprees and my <coughs> failures in two- in when I was in my 20s. But definition art, so we, we went for three months and I got the crew together. So essentially, we started having call-outs to artists to bring their pieces of art to sell in the mall. Consistent basis. We were looking at the NTN and saying, oh, the NTN only has uh, exhibitions every few months. And there's a long uh, form that you have to fill out to, you know, oh, do I have to pay to exhibit my artwork? You so know, you guys cut that lead time, basically. Exactly. Just take 30%. Mm-hmm. And 70 is theirs. 30, 70 is theirs. Okay. You make the price, but we'll also kind of educate you because, I mean person can paint that on a canvas and say that's five thousand dollars come on bro <laughs> yeah so that was that and we were bored we were just selling art and i said let me add more events to this thing mm-hmm. like what am i doing on friday let's 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 put you know things together so we had music just playing music in the mall we had paint and wine on saturdays we had couples quiz night on mondays and we had philosophy talks on Tuesdays and we had movie night on Wednesdays and on Thursdays I can't remember but yeah. Wednesdays it was dope because we we're in the mall and we we're considered a, a partner with the mall and stuff mm-hmm. we were a tenant we went to Star Clinic Corps mm-hmm. and we asked them can we screen any film here mm-hmm. and they were like yeah so we were like okay cool so by that time Charlie was there this is this is like April mm-hmm. we're like Let's start showing anime films. Um, so we showed anime film and it sold out. Boom. We just did it to try it out. Boom. Sold out. In both cinemas. Uh, no, 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 no. In one cinema at the mall, mm-hmm. right? And obviously, Hage was saying, you know, 100 people, 50 people. So we did 50 people. Okay. So 60 bucks, 50 people. I think we got like 6K or something like I know we got 6K. So I don't know how much the number was. But uh, essentially, that went to charity. We did that for a charity. I tried your the the burn victims. Sorry, not the burn victims. Uh, the fire victims in Tol- Yeah. Okay. The Tololo Ka. Oh, Tololo. Oh yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, that, that was messed up. And Eve was actually Eve. I know you're listening to this. You probably like this nigga's not gonna talk. He's not gonna say my name. <laughs> No, no, if if you were the one that put that shit together, but that shit will never be taken away from you, bro. Shout out to Eve. No <laughs> and we were like, but we had the concept of showing our own films at the cinema either way. Oh, these were your own. Yeah, like like no, just any film in the world. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Um, there is a little bit of a of a copyright policy there, you know. Mm-hmm. I, ain't, I ain't gonna talk about that. You know, yeah, never gets easy, bro. But uh, <laughs> but essentially, we showed four films. Uh, mm-hmm. Two anime films, Fela Kuti, the documentary, because mm. we, we were amazed that people don't know Fela Kuti, especially Generation Z. Mm. They have a documentary. Is that shit on Netflix? I don't think so. I don't think it's on Netflix. It came out in 2015 or, or, or 17. Mm. Very, true, very good. This guy was a crazy guy, bro. Yeah. I didn't even know. I knew his music, and I'm going to, I've only listened to one album. He's got like 20 albums. I'm going to listen to those ones when I get older and I have kids because mm-hmm. I'm going to play that shit in the house. <laughs> but the person who he was, crazy ass motherfucker, bro. I'll have to take that documentary, though. I'm going to look for it. 
Yeah, it's it's a good watch. It's mm. not a it's not a it's not a game. These niggas right. are going through shit. <laughs> so we screen. Yeah. So we screen. We screen movies, man. And the people were like, "Yeah, that's dope." Um, and then we were in the mall. Definition art was in the mall, and our go-to purpose was selling art piece, mm. was selling artwork, and we sold. By the time that we left, I can only take it by that time, we sold like 40 pieces of art. Now, in a pandemic, in a holiday season, which was December, January, and essentially February, Mm -hmm. um, so I'll go from April, we sold 40 pieces of art. We were able to give currency to artists in that time. And I look at the National Art Gallery, I look at uh, Start Art, gallery i look at project room i look at the ntn yeah. i look at all these establishments that cater for artists and i'm like wow like i know i don't cater for actors i don't cater for singers yeah. right but for visual artists have is something here you know yeah. and essentially it was only supposed to be alive for three months definition oh. art <laughs> hold on man mm. hey there's a dog Sorry. barking in the background. Yeah. It was Probably. supposed to be alive only for three months. But niggas were telling me, you, I've, I've had like 20 artists. I've had more, mm-hmm. but in that time, until April, so from December to April, I've, I've had like 20 artists come to me. And when I give them their 70%, and they walk off and they were like, was it really sold? That sparkle, mm. bro, like, that is, you see, teary-eyed already now, just a little bit, nigga, put it down, you're a real nigga, a little real nigga. Okay. <laughs> that is why I was like, nah, this thing can't die, bro. If I can help contemporary abstract artists sell their artwork, mm-hmm. then Definition Art has met its mission and vision. So, that's a long story yeah <laughs> shit from all the high school shit from all the depression up till this moment essential though it draws a picture of what i was trying to get at yeah. so basically uh you guys are in the mall for like three months what happened do you guys because uh, i understand you have your own establishment uh, so we're at the mall mm-hmm. and then uh that rent was fine okay so you guys are meeting them and talking yeah, about, yeah, but it was the electricity. It was electricity. Let me tell you guys, if you guys get a spot to rent out from any of these property owners who are good people, I know, just make sure you understand what the electricity bill is like. Mm-hmm. Because when I, before I, 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 I'm essentially coming from the streets, huh? mm-hmm. from the couch. Contract was there. You understand? The rent was fine. Mm-hmm. I signed. When I went in there, I thought, oh, where's the... Pre-? I remember the day. I was like, oh, where's the prepaid chandy? The meter box, yeah. The guy was like, oh, yeah, you have to pay. Uh, there's a separate company. You must just talk to the people upstairs. Oh, shit. Okay, cool. Okay. A month went by. They just killed us. So we left. How much? Did, literally, how much? It was like 2000 In it one was month. Like, it was like 2016. And they asked for that shit on the 15th. Ask for it on the 12th, exactly. And they want that shit like now. It will be cut off electricity. That's dumb. And that's cock embarrassing. In Very the true. So if there was money to pay myself and my crew, shit we just went to electricity. Mm. The mall saw that, and I'm actually thankful that they sat me down. They were like, bruh, uh, the guys who are selling cigarettes are making more money than you guys. Not to be disrespectful, but you guys are not retail. You host events mm-hmm. and you sell artwork maybe once every two weeks. So it's time. We'll give you one more month for free and then you guys can book out. I was like, thank you, bro. Let me so just book nice. out of this bitch. Yeah. Let me just book out. But your question was, do we have a, a, a place right now? Mm-hmm. In that time, a gentleman by the name of Dean Spall came to finishing out in the mall and he was like oh you guys are so small such a small space for such a great idea so many events and stuff here why don't you guys uh, think of moving and such he was the manager of the village oh okay 
which is in Eros 18 Lely Econ Street. Street. <laughs> I'm butchering that name. <coughs> okay. And uh, I was like, word, word, I'll, 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 keep it, I'll keep it in mind, bro. So when the month before we left, I contacted him and he was like, yeah, the village has always wanted an art presence here at our spot. So I was like, okay, let me let, 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 me, let me let me come by there, bro. Mm-hmm. And the shit was dope, man. The shit was dope. So I told him we're leaving. He was like, yeah, you can slot in. We had our opening day. Um, it was pretty much attended very well. It was May. We had our opening day at the village okay. of this year. Oh, was it of this year? No, of last year. Whoa, 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 I'm getting my fucking dates mixed up now. When did we go to the village, bruh? Don't worry about it. <laughs> I don't know. I, don't worry about it, but I'm, I, I'm, am I mixing? 2000, the, the year 2000 and the year this year is so fucking trippy, man. It was this year. We had our opening this year, May. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah, COVID made, made everything seem like it was a fucking eternity. Exactly. Yeah, like, <laughs> one week is like, yo, one month is like a fucking year and shit yeah, like that. I get you. Uh-oh. Okay, so village. So we open up at the village. Mm-hmm. Now it's me, Charlie. It's just me and Charlie now. The other people left. Um, so we started, man. We had the opening night. We played music. We played real music. Um, we had all the programs. At that time, we were teaching people how to play instruments. Okay. Uh, guitar, piano, violin. Um, there's another one I've come. I'm not, not remembering. You know who Ronaldo is? Ronaldo, yeah, the violinist, the violinist. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, cool. He's a he's a famous guy, bro. Oh, for sure. Yeah, yeah. He, you you, you do you don't just contact that guy, bro. Had him on here once. Nah. Yeah. Pretty nice. Like I said, I'm surprised how people are not stuck up. People are genuinely just nice. Nah. Yeah. Was well, he a nice guy? No, no. I'm not saying he's stuck up, but he's a famous guy to contact. Like, oh, he's he's really? a he's a he's a high body, oh, high yeah. price. Because you're very good. I was just shooting my shot. <laughs> <laughs> but he's not such a lovely guy. Sweet no, guy. Yeah, no he's, he's, he's good. He's good. Mm-hmm. Our violinist that we got was a guy called Savar. 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 Um, sexy name. <laughs> not a, a, a sexy individual. And he'll <laughs> laugh. He'll laugh. Uh, he'll, <laughs> he'll laugh. He'll laugh. Don't worry, Savar. I'm, I'm, I'm busting your balls. So, he... At the opening, yeah, that's what we did. We were, oh yeah, on Thursday nights at the mall, we were teaching people how to play instruments. That's the one I forgot. Mm-hmm. But yeah, so opening night was dope, man. Um, COVID really hit hard in winter, June, July. Yes, it should, yeah. People are starting to die, bro. Yeah. And it would have been insensitive of us to continue with fun-loving events when people are actually really now dying now. Yeah. So we chilled for a fucking bit. And January, March, April, May, June, July, August. So August was, you know, they were like, yo, let's start the shit up again. So we've come down to this. Definition art is Vintuk. is in Vintuk. It's at the village. And our social media obviously has everything like Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, our number to contact. You know, you can just call that number and ask. One lady just called us today. One lady called before I came here. She was like, what are you guys doing next week? Mm-hmm. And I gave her the information. So it's not like you have to really pay, obviously pay attention and follow to our pages. But like, you can just call and say, what are you guys up to this week? Because, mm-hmm. yeah. So that number is like, that phone is on my body every single day. So I'll answer as the owner and I'll give you the information. But mm-hmm. the program that we have is Paint and Wine. But it is themed. Quick question though. Mm-hmm. Uh, wa- paint and wine or wine and paint? What's it called? Paint and wine. Paint and wine. Mm-hmm. So is that a concept that you guys developed? No. Initially, that, that came. That was that existed way before, right? Yes. Oh, okay. That's right. And it existed way before internationally, like in the world, and it existed before in Namibia, and something artsy, Jamie Lee. Mm-hmm. Jamie Lee okay. was actually the the first. I would say the first. There's there's a few people. There's Famata. Uh, wait, no, I'm butchering a name. Sorry, Fatme Fatme, who also has a paint and wine session. Fatme Fatme. Yeah, <laughs> she's from she's from a very attractive woman, if I may say. 
Sounds uh, like it. Yes. And she does styles, she does clothes and stuff. Mm-hmm. Uh, she's very artsy. But she also does paint and wine. So, yeah, paint and wine. But we, want, we added it. We add an aspect of theater mm-hmm. to the session of paint and wine. Mm-hmm. So, essentially, definition art, before I go through the programs, essentially, definition art is to help bring art into households to households from the audience that attends our events Mm -hmm. that's one and number two is helping aspiring artists whether they're actors whether they're um you know visual artists to get a little bit ahead before they go to the big institutions like the ntn and shit like that Mm -hmm. Because one thing that I don't even ask people for payment from is when they come to me and I give them advice. Like, not advice, like, ugh, not that fucking advice. You know that tips, advice right? shit. Yeah, tips. Yeah. Like, <coughs> oh, my man, I want to be an actor, but I don't know where to start. I was at the NTN, but the security guard told me to fuck off. Now, which happens? That's why I'm laughing. Like that shit is possible. It's fucking real. It's fucking just, ah, but just hold, just hold on. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> but yeah, so yeah, man. Securities are I'm, telling people to fuck off. How many? How many minutes are we in now? I don't wanna be weird. Oh, we're like fifty. Damn. Oh fuck. Because I saw on most of your most of your your average is like one hour. What? An hour fifty. Two hours. My last one was two hours. Damn, yeah. damn. Like okay. I said, that's when people do fucking talk. Then, man, I don't give a fuck. Okay, okay, yeah. okay. Hey, that, that, that was not a fucking go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I got you, I got you. But there's bars, there's bars for somebody, there's bars coming later. Okay. There's bars. All right, all right. And you better put that, please put that in, that there's bars. All um, right. So, you're giving, essentially, you're giving these guys tips. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, um, and it's kind of like, it's kind of like, we have we have a trainee Tamsin mm-hmm. as the creative designer. She's into fashion and mm-hmm. stuff. It's like we have her there because it's kind of definition of art is just like a three man job. Okay, she's a woman, obviously, so two men and one woman, um, and that's all we need to you know set up our events and such at the village. Okay, but we have her on like a retainer. Mm-hmm. He did not know anything about the art industry. And her cousin is one of my friends who I smacked back in the day. So <laughs> she called me. She called me and she said, yo, listen. Uh, <laughs> just throw your shit out. <laughs> throw it out, man. My cousin of mine, you know, she's in the art industry and she um, doesn't know how to begin. Yeah. And I was like, okay, cool. I'll, 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 I'll you know, I'll swing her by. Uh, and she's now with us now for two months now. And fashion people have attended our events ah. and then she went to go talk and stuff now she can go to fashion lab and the council and talk and say oh i represent definition oh definition okay mm. there's a lot of people in the fashion world that do you know big up myself and charlie and what we're doing mm-hmm. so it's not nepotism i don't think it's corruption but uh, it's just to springboard some of these people into the life of they want to achieve oh, it's a necessity i mean if you look at art, or rather the whole entertainment industry mm. people have been being fucked over yep. you know what i mean from uh from publishing mm. to events performing at events or mm. it's just it's all over the fucking place mm. unfortunately now i've had the privilege to talk to some of these guys and they'll tell me the same shit mm. i'm like hey man something like this Definition of art can get you paid or even shed some light on you, because mm. I'm pretty I'm pretty sure that the other people as well, not just yours, yours just stands out more. Yeah, yeah. There's there's other people. There's yeah. other people. Um, it's just it's just weird that 2020 is like if if there's other people, it's like mine stands out. We just started a year ago. We're well, not even a year ago. Ten months ago, nine months ago, and what do I make my posters promoted? Mm-hmm. I hardly do that. Like sponsored and shit. I don't know cash for that. Word of mouth works. Word of mouth. Word Especially of mouth. here. Word of mouth yeah. is. Um, I think it's the, the abstract shit. I think it's just being abstract and and actually appreciating the art. Like we don't fucking have artists. No disrespect to rappers and shit. Like we don't have rappers performing at our events. 
Like, you know, the, uh, dude, I saw one. Who's this lady again? The 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 president lady. Well, uh, lady Gankos. Oh yeah. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> lady no, president. No like disrespect. What? She was at a she was at a function, yeah. and <coughs> it was a pretty serious function, and there was a rapper performing. Wow. There was a rapper performing. Now, now listen, the rapper got paid, and that's what I'm happy about. That's yeah. the only thing I'm happy about. At least. But like, I think Namibia doesn't have. Uh, some people don't understand. Like, like you can't have a rapper performing at a corporate event. W- okay, you can. But what message are you trying to send here? Like, I don't even care. I'm thinking. I'm thinking more of like the, the playlist. Like, <laughs> what? Because ki- you can't be like trap bitches. Tra-. Like, nah. That, that's just <laughs> it was. It was a guy that was jumping <laughs> yeah. around, bro. Uh, it was real? a guy that was jumping around. I can yeah. imagine playing trap at these these events, man. That would be so fun. Like to <sighs> just be on the fly on the wall, just to see what's going on. Oh, that would be so much fun. I to would see, <sighs> to see how these politicians turn up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I would actually be very rowdy. Yeah. I would actually big up the rapper. Yeah. Because, yeah. She can get them standing. <laughs> you they, they, were, they were all sitting. They were all sitting. Yeah, but anyway. Oh, bro, we got a rapper. So weird, man. But that's why I think we just, <coughs> we, we chose a different curve. And we, I think we. Hmm. So this is where the bars start coming. This is where the bars start coming. Because. Okay, Emmanuel, uh, good and dandy. Definition art is at the village. You guys have paint and wine, and you'll talk about your other events later, philosophy and movie night. Okay, cool. So what have you experienced? Now, 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 my man. What's up? Um, there is a culture of theft in the creative. <laughs> 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 oh, shit. <coughs> We're starting? <laughs> We're starting, bro. Okay, cool. Yeah, let's get it. There's a culture of theft. Yeah. Just imagine I'm smoking a cigarette right now. <laughs> There's a culture of theft in this in this thing. And I I knew it. I knew of it. Yeah. But I said I'm not going to engage in it. Do you want to smoke a cigarette by the way? Do you have one? No. I no, thought I you it. Oh, okay. No, I do <laughs> I I actually stopped smoking. I actually stopped smoking. Oh no, it's gonna like yeah. allow you like hey man, everything. No, okay. Maybe you're okay. on a maybe on an event. Okay. Okay. For real, for real. <laughs> okay, nah, cool. But um um, I do Muay Thai, so I I Ooh. I stop smoking for like Car. I want to stop smoking for at least two months. Nice, yeah. Helps with the helps with yeah, yeah. helps with the quality. There's a there's a training shanty just down the road here. Yeah. They buy Ferrero Gardens. Really? Mm. Batting people up, bro. I should try it out. Yeah. It's pretty dope. It's pretty dope. Oh. Every day, six o'clock, and we we there's loads of punching bags. They've got gloves, so you can just come, short pants and a shirt. And you get gloves and you hit the bag and then they put you put you through drills and dude I'm just trying to get back into shape. No, nah. like I it's it's the best way. It's the best way because going to the gym is 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 boring as fuck, bro. I mean the weightlifting is cool. I don't mind. There's a there's a there's a bench there. Yeah, you see, yeah. so like might as well go to a place where they have it in like one setting, you know, one yeah. stop shop basically. Yeah, right? so yeah, maybe. Okay. And it's dope to throw a punch, man. Like it's also dope. The, the the art of combat is is a is a sp- is a special. I have a special love for the art of combat. Mm. I watch UFC a lot. I just started getting into it. You just started. I think like a year or two now. Nah. Like, yeah, just here and there. Who's your favorite fighter, bro? Uh, you know the whole the Africans, man. Yeah. Oh, the Francis, I think, I, 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 the Francis, the uh, you know Easy, yeah, uh, yeah, Usman, Usman yeah. yeah. And yeah. these are the only guys like, I literally follow. Like, yeah, every, look, don't get me wrong, they are the. Paulo Costas, the silver. Mm. Look, but that, that's not my era. Like I don't necessarily understand what came before that. So, Weird. I'm, just, so I'm just catching on. So I'm like, oh. Weird. But these guys, I'm like, I fucking with the, these guys, man. These guys are cool. I that like is them. exactly how I learned, bro. Like I, I was, I was intimidated by trying to learn the past. Mm. Chuck Liddell and the Ice yeah, Man. Yeah, like, yes. Fuck yes. that shit. <laughs> like that shit comes later. Mm. Just with your, just like I just stuck to one guy, Chris Weidman, who was the guy. Mm-hmm. I stuck to one guy, and from him I learned everything. I learned his division, then I learned the motherfuckers in his division. Yeah. Then I learned, oh, he's, he was talking about that guy. Oh, so there's another division. Yeah, just then like, everything <laughs> coordinates. Yeah. So I uh, know UFC five years now, bro, six years now. I'm in that shit. Like, oh my god, like the positions, the the jujitsu and shit like that. Mm. I I commentated a Muay Thai event twice here in Vento. So. Something else coming, you know, for Muay Thai, for combat, you know, f- 
fans and shit like that i can't really say now but i am i'm probably going to be commentating um uh you mix mixed martial arts in yeah. namibia yeah i'll probably be the guy and, and it, oh, I love that! Like it's it's an art form. It's a be- to get punched in the face and the chess match of not getting punched. Mm. Like it's beautiful, bro. Like finding kicking your leg and then you get oh, it's beautiful. Not Either too. way, so yeah, Where? stealing of art. The stealing <laughs> of art. Oh my god, bro. So, <sighs> what's up, man? This is this is. I I saw that you had like little cameos, uh, little snippets. Yeah, that you put mm-hmm. from the hour length interview. I think this would be a snippet. Damn man, this I wonder uh, if if I can request for Could it to ask be. Me first. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if I can request for it to like be off, a snippet. off air. Now it feels like it's just pushed. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, I'm putting it. This 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 how serious. Okay. okay, so 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 the first, I never, I knew the art industry was troubled. My quest was just to get the artist paid. You have to pay them their money. That is number one. That is number one. Yeah. Right? And when I was doing that in the early days of Definition Art, and we we hadn't had a public art project yet, so I was happy with giving the money, right? Mm-hmm. And then this year came about, and public art... The ENK Institute for Public Art kind of, you ENK. know, yes. What does that mean? What's that? What's it's the look? first three letters of my surname. Oh, no, no, I no. thought that was like that's something for something else. No, okay, no. so it's your name. Yeah, yeah. Okay, and now uh, I don't give a fuck. And <laughs> please, thank you, thank you. You're a real nigga, shit, bro. Because <laughs> listen, Bipa or like Bipa or fucking hard workers at Bipa, right? Yeah. When you register the shits, mm-hmm. and I fucking asked them. I said Institute for Public Art, and they mm-hmm. were like, "No, you need a prefix." And I was like, what the fuck is a prefix? I know what a prefix is. Yeah, but why? But but why? And they were like, nah, anything. I was like, do, do I have to say Namibia? Mm. Then they were like, no, it has to be something else. I was like, what the fuck is a prefix then? Like, give me a prefix. And the lady at the counter, give me a prefix. And he was like, I don't know. You just have to pick one. I was like, what the fuck? So arrogantly, I said, I'm going to fucking pick the first three letters of my surname. <sighs> These people know it's me applying. Chopara Emmanuel Enkara. Chopara is my first name. Emmanuel is, is my second name. Mm-hmm. Uh, Enkara. Let's see if they approve this. And they approved it. ENK Institute Mind for Public blown. Art. And I was like, oh, fuck. <laughs> I'm not going to spend another th- 75 bucks to change it yeah. now that I know what a prefix is. Yeah. Fuck it. Let me leave it ENK. It does, eh? Uh, my girl, actually. One girl actually told me it's fucking arrogant that you put your first three letters of your name in there. I was like, hey, bro. I'm not going to. It's gonna my shit. It's what my shit, fuck? kind of. Yeah, yeah. It so represents me. This is who I am. Exactly. So, baby girl, mind your business. <laughs> <laughs> So the projects were falling on the wayside, right? Yeah. But Definition Art was picking up, right? It was becoming its own. Somebody that I know, when I'm talking about creative thieves in Namibia, somebody that I know... Look, public art is not a new concept. It's not a, it's not a new concept in the world. It's not a new concept to Namibia. Yeah. But she took this idea. And yeah, this is, this is me talking to you. Because I know you... I'm not saying that you would probably watch this, but or listen to this, mm-hmm. and you know who you are. But you went now to town. You did this. I was fine with that. I was fine with that. But you got the the, the reason why you fucked up is you got Ventuk artists to create in a different town. So you have you haven't done your research. Public art is created by the townsfolk. Public art is created by the artists within that town, so money mm. can be generated within that town, so artists can survive within that town. Public art. Yeah. When I go to Kitmans, I'm not going to bring Ventuk artists there. Mm. I might bring 20%. But Overshadowing the... You are. Okay. Exactly. Okay. The other artists. Oh, okay. 80%, okay. 80% of the artists, when I go to Kitmans, are going to be Kitman Swap artists mm-hmm. that are going to create for their town. As you should. As you should. So you fucked up with that. Okay. And that's why you wanted to establish yourself in that company or in that in that area. I get that. You did what you had to do. But consulting me first would have been a nice thing, you know. I didn't need to be involved, but 
I'm speaking to you directly. Like yeah. you could have at least consulted me because I would have given you tips of how to, you know, of how to make it something, you know, yeah. genuine. Yeah. So that's my, th- those are my bars to you, love. I say love at the end because I've always respected you. Um, I never laughed when niggas were laughing at you and shit. I never did that. But I always respected you. I thought you were always a fun person. But um, you, you, you showed your other face. And uh, when we meet, it will be professional and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, it's done like that. Let me, let me play devil's advocate real quick. Mm. Do you feel like she actually owes you anything? No. Like as far as explain, I mean, I, I get it. Like, I've, I've had, by the way, I'm a graphic designer. Mm. <laughs> weird, weird, <laughs> so weird. Throw it out there. I've had situations where I've, people have actually like told me like, yo, isn't, isn't this something you did? Mm. And they're like, oh, I'm like, wow. Um, so ideas are being stolen. That, that's crazy. But I didn't pay too much attention to it because at the end of the day, all things come to light. Yeah. You're gonna fuck up eventually, mm, mm. and I'm gonna know about it, or rather, people are gonna know that you're a fraud. Mm. So it's like, and on the other hand, there's also people that get away with this shit. Mm. But do you feel like she owes you anything? I mean, as far as I'm concerned, nah. ma- maybe I think she owes you is just need an explanation. And 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 or and I've practiced the moment that we meet. <laughs> yeah. Cause I I I've, I wanna I actually I have two f- things being directed, the NTN that I will do next year. Mm-hmm. I have two scripts, so I also want to do that. I want to be a common actor. I want to become director. Uh, but yeah, so I've theaterized what will happen. You know that she never works out, right? Yeah, I I actually know that I will smile with her because <laughs> she's she's a dope person. Like, but then it will I'll be quickly reminded. I feel I'll like it's good to address it, though. Yeah, 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 yeah. I I'll don't think, yeah, I don't think necessarily need to blow it out of proportion, but it would be good to address it. Yeah, I mean, we'll so we'll we'll go to the side and have a little bit of co- of a conversation. Mm. But I'm sarcastic as fuck, so I'll probably be like, "Nah, did you find Dina? As they will, your ear, mm. you know, beslate. You wanted to make your your own life, you know. Uh, then 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 all for it, bruh. And there's a lot of ideas <coughs> that you can creep from. Yeah. And uh, away, sharp, sharp. That's what I'll, that's all I'll say. Then mm-hmm. I'll book out. You know, so that's the first, that's, those are the first bars that I would like to say. I'm so glad that I've got that out. I feel a little bit lighter. Mm. Funny thing is, guys, this literally just happened an hour, 30, hour ago. We kind of got this news. No, that was, that was, that was earlier different. this year. Oh shit! Oh, okay. The news that I got an hour ago, yeah. man, is devious. It's <laughs> devious. Okay. I've been texting. My phone is blowing up with text now from this nigga. Whoa, 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 whoa. Um, because uh, told him like, yo, we gotta close the lane. <laughs> shit, Real I'm saying that online. Yeah. Uh, we gotta close the lane, bro, because I've been, you know, I've been generous. I've been generous. Um, to the air of art. Mm-hmm. I don't want to disrespect the the aspect of art. Whether it's my consumption of art or my company's produce production of art in Namibia, I wanted to be respectful to that. But with what happened an hour ago before this podcast, I just found something online, and this company, mm-hmm. this uh, government-owned company, wants to essentially do what we are doing now and they're doing it in a w- it's not that they're doing it it's not that they're doing it which is the issue of course public art is not a, a thing that i can patent mm-hmm. but they're doing it in a way that basically describes what we have on our website if you go to our website we have projects featured project like big projects that are coming in the future and I feel stupid now like I must take that shit down now because people can just go to our website and say oh these guys want to do this shit in future let's do it now because we're a government owned company and we can ask the government and sponsors for thousands and thousands of dollars and they'll get it and they will get it I'm just a nigger just a guy that wants to do true we have five pillars with public art the number one pillar is getting the artist paid 
on a bigger fucking project per project income. Mm. That's number one. Number two is like, you know, uh, safety and, and philosophy and all those other things. But number one is getting artists paid. So, um, for for a for, I mean I mean, okay. So so an hour ago you guys released what you guys are gonna do. I told my nigga on the phone we're gonna close the lane. Mm. And there was a card that I didn't want to play. I never wanted to play it unless maybe, maybe you don't wanna mention it. No, I don't even want to mention okay, it. Then. I don't <laughs> even want to mention it. <laughs> I'll I'll tell you after. Okay, cool. Uh, I've always wanted to say that on a podcast. <laughs> you know when people say on a podcast they're always like, "Yo, we'll talk, we'll talk after." Oh, yeah. And I'm like, "What the fuck are they gonna talk about?" I have a, I have a lot of those. <laughs> yeah, have you had a lot of those? Oh my god! Like, yeah. People are thinking like extra two hours just telling me shit, and I'm just like, "Wow." Wow. Yeah. Okay. So mine, yeah. So I'll tell you after mine, but mm-hmm. like. Yeah, that's that. So, uh, when I'm saying the lane is closed, when I'm telling my boy, yo, we're closing the lane, I'm going to isolate myself. I'm going to isolate myself now. And um, any creatives, I'm sorry, bro. Like, I'm talking to you guys now. <laughs> I, I I mean, I, I'm, I'm very open. I wear my heart on my sleeve. Mm-hmm. Everyone knows that. Um, and I've been taken advantage of many times. Many times. And, uh, you know, but... Um, now, attacking my businesses. Yeah. In 2000, last year, 2020, full mention of public art. Full mention of doing shit for artists in, in, in visual arts, in de- definition art type shit. Full mention, eh? Mm-hmm. And I was trying to do this shit before COVID hit, right? And now that I'm in this shit, and now that we have certain events and shit like that, Motherfuckers, I'll say, oh no, the creative industry has to pick up its socks because uh, everyone's at home now, and this is the project that we have released and shit man, like that. Fuck y'all, man. That's supposed that was supposed to be the case year decades ago, probably even. decades ago. What were you guys doing in 2020? Exactly. What were you guys doing in 2013? But here's the thing, though. Don't you kind of feel like you feel flattered? How a big institution, or rather, this. Is actually trying to steal your idea. I, I, I take that shit as a compliment sometimes. I'm like, wow, you guys literally have to steal my idea just, just to get away. Just to get away. But I've been I, doing this for the right reasons at least. Exactly. I, I, I do I do kind of feel flattered. I do. Um, it's just that... The art is different? Nah, I wanted to do this alone. I wanted to... Do, not alone. I have a team, obviously. But I wanted to do this with our own finances. Mm. When we have a project, we ask for the donation for the eighty thousand project, whatever. We get sponsors to sponsor that project. Yeah. But these companies, it's a project we sponsored, but the company is not sponsored. The project that's sponsored. Mm. These companies get their, these projects, these companies get their uh, company sponsored, mm-hmm. and they get their projects sponsored. Mm-hmm. I never wanted my entity, my project my company to be sponsored i wanted my projects to be sponsored which entails that the artists get sponsored yeah. it mustn't be money in our account for the public art thing there mustn't be money in our account if it's not for a project don't want that okay. i want project by project you know i want every single cent to be delegated to uh to a to a duty it, huh? yeah yeah I, I don't want i don't want I, I don't want this flattery stuff. I don't want, like, you know, I, if it comes, it's great. Maybe it's just because of the work we've been doing. Like, oh, the president says, oh, you guys are doing a brilliant job. Here's 50,000. You understand? Yeah. Yeah, okay, cool. But I'm not going to ask for that. I'm not going to, I don't want to ask for that. So these companies have the power to ask for that. And they have the power to ask for the money for the projects themselves. And, so. and you, f- oh, bro, you fucks. So, but aren't you guys in the same position to actually do that as well? We are. Because clearly, like I said, people are stealing your idea. And if people are open-minded enough, realize where all these other, well, this specific company where you got his idea from, you guys might have an advantage. Yeah. yeah. We will have an advantage. We do. We do. Yeah. We do. And um, th- that's essentially part of the card. Ah, word, 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 yeah. word. I got a hint. Yeah, yeah, you got a <laughs> hint. You got a hint. So, um, I think between the two, definition art and ENK, it went in waves. When ENK came about, came about, it was Pappen. 
mm-hmm. in in my my mind. And definition art came about. ENK wasn't popping. Then definition art became popping. The more whatever mm-hmm. NK was dormant. Like what the fuck is the NK doing? You know they're not doing anything. Did our first project sort of just painted two murals. Um, being Badabung in uh, Central Vintuk. It's not a. It's not a. It's not a. It's not a concept that hasn't been done before. But in the center of Vintuk, it hasn't been done before. Where exactly? Fidel Castro Street, which is where the the. Is the uh, the PC way to call them whores, <laughs> prostitutes? Um, <laughs> I've had this conversation with I've had this <coughs> conversation with two women that are very uh, progressive and and feminine and uh, you know so they I can't say the B word but I can say prostitute. Yeah. Yes. They are prostitutes. Like and everyone. But whore, whore, you can't say whore. Whore sounds kind of rough. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I see where it fits in, but damn. Yeah, yeah now let, let's go with prostitutes. Yeah, let's go with prostitutes. Rather, oh, even better, let's go with dancers. <laughs> um, ladies of the night. Ladies, La- ladies of the night. Better. Ladies of the night. Or the oldest profession in the world. <laughs> the oldest. Oh, it, we, wow, we, yes, yes. The oldest profession <laughs> in the world. <laughs> at least one of them. It, yeah. At least one of them. Yeah. <laughs> uh, white supremacy is the other one. And then. <laughs> <laughs> so it's at that corner. <laughs> it so it's at that corner of Fidel Castro and Werner Lestrade. It's basically at the College of the Arts. So you at the College of the Arts, I you will see. see the two murals. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna check it out. So we have four more to do that are like, oh my God, you 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 the only person that knows this, like now, other than the owners of the walls. Okay. But it's gonna be in Vernial, bruh. Nice. Post Street Mall. Unless I'm all stop dark, you know, everyone's walking there. Exactly. Again, there's like two walls that we're going to have there painted. And again, the only one that will know this, but yeah. like we might, it's like, we might start in like two weeks. So this might come out before that. Yeah. 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 Probably. We're going to paint Boma and uh, Beatrice and uh, one of the disabled guys, mm. the guy that wears. Chicago. Chicago. Is, yeah. is it Paulo Chicago? It. I know you're sending me Shikonga. Yeah, sorry, sorry, about, yeah. sorry about that, guys. Yeah. We're going to paint, and obviously the coach. Yeah, Hank. Because of, uh, yeah. And then those four people will be there at the wall, and then we have another mural and two others. So that's what we're going to do before this month ends. Mm-hmm. That's public art. But we have another fucking project, which I'm drinking now, ladies and gentlemen. I'm having um, gin. Royal Flush. Royal Flush. It is <laughs> Thursday, the 9th of the 9th. I have a meeting. No, not a meeting. I have an interview at Good Morning Namibia. <laughs> <laughs> so you know where I'm going. It's going to be a long day for you. I have a meeting at <coughs> Good Morning Namibia at like 6. Bruh, have you guys been to Good Morning Namibia? Push early in the morning, bruh. I wouldn't know. Yeah. But it seems like motherfuckers are just waking. You up. should go there. You should go there for, bro. Let me tell you how many how many podcasts are there in Namibia, bro? Pretty sure there are quite a few. Um, I just don't know any that are really like good. Yeah. And there's not it's not like to yeah to yeah. shit on anyone. But it's the truth. It's just what I'm seeing. Yeah. Um, I don't even know mine is good to be honest with you. Yeah. I don't know. I have I'm just trying it out. I have YouTube Namibian podcast so many times. Mm. I've Googled Namibian. I'm on YouTube every fucking day. Every fucking day. Okay. The only ones that I've found. <sighs> what's this chick's name? They had one at uh, Confab. Owner of Confab, the chick. She mm. had a, but that was years ago and they stopped that. It looked okay. nice. They had video and they, they had the podcast and thing, but they stopped that. The okay. last one was like a year ago. So okay. I think they stopped that. Then there was... Um, See, there's no others. There's no mic. There's no mic. There's interviews. There's a lot of people with cameras that do interviews. Yeah. But there's no podcast. But there is. There's. She can't go. Apparently, mm. she has a podcast. She did her first. Her first thing was Gaza. But the, everyone talks like this. Hi, we are here at the the. Yeah, the it's thing all pod- formal. It's all formal and shit. Kind of fake. It's all fake. It's all fake. It's all fake. And that's bullshit. So there is a big fucking lane for this motherfucker. Mm. So I'm, I'm thankful. You. I'm thankful Thank for you being saying here. that, man. Yeah, bro. I don't know. Time. I don't know, man. 
like I said, don't necessarily care how many followers you have. Or yeah, like like I, I've been saying on this podcast, um, numbers have become the new currency. This has become the new. Mm-hmm. How do I how do I establish credibility? Subscribers, my followers, mm-hmm. and all that. And I get it, man. Mm. I totally understand it. But at the end of the day, try not to be a piece of shit also. Right? Yeah. At the end of the day, you don't know where this is going to be. Because mm. can you imagine, okay, once we hit our 100,000 or whatever, do you want to come back? Or now you respond to my DM? Mm. It's going to it's gonna mm. look so, like, ingenuine. In yeah. I'm about to yeah, 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 yeah. It's going to look so fake, man. So it's going to be like, <sighs> I would like to talk to you, but you kind of shut me down. And I, and I don't know what your intentions yeah. are right now. Yeah, but okay, I do know numbers are the new credit. Yeah, yeah, it's credibility now. So I'm like, yeah. I just like the apparatus. Yeah. I I've I've had what is the other fucking uh, Scarlet Red Mother the interface. The oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Every, every hood nigga has a Scarlet, <laughs> bro. Yeah, no, I had a Scarlet. I had to sell it. <laughs> I had to sell. I had to sell. I bought it and I had to sell it like two months later. Yeah. Every nigga in Namibia has a Scarlet Shandy, bro. Really? So I had a Scarlet Shandy. It's good I though. It's, not a, it's a good brand. It's a good brand. It's a good brand. It's a Although brand. the the they don't have they don't give you the program. They don't give you the software. I don't ah, think they give you the software. Which no, they don't. Don't find yourself. Yeah, but yeah, but I like the apparatus. I like the the podcast apparatus. I like the experience of the. Ah, so I had to. I was like, nigga, this guy wants to interview me. Either way. <laughs> so the crazy thing is we just start here. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're going to get bigger and better. I yeah, do believe that. I, I also believe. I also yeah. believe so, bro. I have to come back. Crazy. I have to come back. So people no, can you see can. my red eyes and shit <laughs> on a <the> video. <laughs> but word, yeah. where the fuck were we, we were at? We were at, uh, oh, no. no. People were stealing uh, art. Oh, no. Chitty's almost done. So... You come to have you come to peace with it as far as like it happened because I don't feel like there's a need for you to dwell on this shit because it's really gonna fuck you up. Yeah, thank you for actually having the the cathartic mm-hmm. moment of actually saying it out loud yeah. to somebody because because I'm really glad you vented the shit out. Yeah, probably yeah. There's still more to vent out, but there, is, there's yeah. I mean, it's I, I good. The last thing I would say is that uh, we're not going to. You guys can have your one weeks and your your moments, your five minutes and stuff like that. Yeah. But we actually, if it's regarding public art, we are not stopping. We are not going to stop. Okay. We are a private nonprofit. We are registered with BIPA. You can check that out. Um, we want artists to be paid. That is our number one issue. And we want to create abstract art. Nobody, nobody can... Nobody can think of abstract. Or, I, I mean, I'm, I'm gonna boast, no? Yeah. But I'm like, I'm top twenty in this country, bro. Like, Damn. if you have to put twenty people in just a room like and just think of <laughs> abstract shit, bullshit, yeah. bro. Like, no, bro, no. I, I, I do philosophy. Like, we, we have philosophy events. You're putting a guy that does philosophy and art together, and he wants to create public art. Like, come on, what do you, what do you think I'm gonna think of, bro? Like, it's going to be crazy shit that's going to put our country on the map that tourists can actually come. So you guys can do your... I know what you guys can do. You guys are going to do what you guys are going to do, right? But when we do what we're going to do, we're going to do shit on another level. Like, we will not stop you guys. <coughs> there comes the interview at Good Morning Namibia, right? Yeah. So um, we are announcing our call-out. We have an artist call-out because... There's an old, puss old mural mm-hmm. in town right now. It's called the 1990 Independence Mural. Is it that the one across Drift Towers? Yes. Yeah, that one's it's good, but sucks now. It? <laughs> it what? It's good, but it's like... Shabby. It's worn out. Worn I kind of just <laughs> got tired looking at it. But it's a good mural. It's not, not a mural, but it's a, good, it's a good piece of graffiti. Yes. The fucking... The landmass right in front of that area is tattered to the T, bruh. Yeah. We met two niggas there. We were filming something. We met two niggas there. They were fucking cooking a chicken. They they had like, <laughs> they had like they had like two <coughs> they had like two chickens that were the 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 they they were fucking defeathered. Yeah. And <clears throat> they were in the pot. Just homeless people. This is in the city, by the this way. This is guys. the city, bro. CBD. 
So we got permission a long time ago mm. to build a park there, a mini park, mm. and talk about the mural that once was. Mm-hmm. So we are actually looking for the kids who are now adults who painted that wall. So mm. they can tell us a little bit about the areas that they painted. Yeah, what was going on that time. Yeah. You know, so, uh, Viva, so, uh, sorry, Viva Namibia mm-hmm. and, you know, all that good stuff. But, you know, a little bit of a sappy story, you know. It's it's a good story, though. I also want to now hear people talk about what they painted. Uh, I would like to hear, but... The corporates like to hear that kind of stuff. But yeah, I'm over it. <laughs> I know it's an independent story, right? Yeah, I'm over it. But uh, we're gonna build a park there, which which could be nice. And then what would be dope was gonna say goodbye to that mural for a year. Then after a year, we will have three schools: colored school, white school, black school, and the kids of the people that did paint there okay. paint their perception of what Namibia is to them oh, at the moment. That's a dope idea. Yeah. So that's what I'm announcing at Good Morning Namibia tomorrow morning. And we have the video, the call-out video already made, so they're going to really pop it on the screen when I'm sitting there, uh-huh. uh, while I'm talking there. And I told them, like, NBC took it, the video, we sent it to NBC, and they were like, yeah. I was like, this shit needs to be, like, after news, or, like, <laughs> every single day after news, because we need to find these motherfuckers, you know? They're going to make you pay for that, though. Exactly. But they're I think they like the idea. That. I think they like the idea so yeah. much that they like, no, we can't not do this. Aha. So that is like the tip of the card mm. where I'm saying I'm playing my card now, you know, hmm. to everyone else. Because like, it will be known, like, hey, hey, hey. it will be known. And we do our little bits on social media. We'll have that video up promoted for a whole month or whatever. Pretty cool. Then it's like that. That's like really a dope idea. Yeah, but I, I figured you're gonna put the bomber slingy mm. on that wall. That would have been cool. Ooh, that would be crazy. Because that would be, be like inspiring, inspiring yeah. every. I think Vernal is power, more powerful though. But that's like, like a highway, like an entire wall, just dedicated to them. That shit is crazy. Damn. But the, the thing th- is, I, what I kind of hate, what I hate about this thing is it's a wave. Mm. And the dangerous thing about waves is when they die, but it forgets. Yeah. But Frankie Fredericks, Frankie Fredericks did what? Did he win a gold medal or yeah. silver? I think he won gold. He won a silver. Is it? Yeah. I, I, I don't remember. Wait. I don't <laughs> think he beat Mike J- Ma- Michael Johnson. I think he came second. Okay. I, I think he beat, I think Michael Johnson was beat in one of the races. Uh-huh. Something like that, but I think he won silver. I don't think a Namibian has ever won gold in the normal or in the fully able Olympics. The disabled huh. Olympics, which is the Paralympics, we've won gold before. Yeah, yeah. Definitely. There's a nigga called Ruben. Ruben, uh, uh, no, I can't say his surname, but Ruben. Yeah, yeah. He okay. won gold twice. Okay, so yeah, no, he won silver. He won silver. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So his wave you know, has gone on for years, bro. That's true. I played soccer with that guy. That guy's legs are fucking hard. Yeah? Yeah. They're like, they're like metal. They have metal shits in them. I've played <laughs> soccer with that guy. But here's a problem. Okay. But maybe it's because I'm just talking from the perspective of... Murals can be repainted. Yeah, that's true. Mm-hmm. I'm just, I'm looking at it from the, from the perspective of the social media age right now. Where you can say some dumb shit today and tomorrow you're forgotten. Mm-hmm. So I don't, I don't want that for them. As far as I'm concerned, I want these girls to be mentors. Even <sighs> I well, want, I want the government to actually um, it's build facilities. Like it's going like that. I hope so. Yeah. But like I said, it's a wave. She's 18, bro. I know, <sighs> but it's a wave. They both got deals from Nike. You must even get it from Adidas or some shit. Oh, Adidas. But I think <laughs> Beatrice was Beatrice. I think Boma got Nike and Beatrice got Adidas. I literally think that I think that's that so that's what I was telling the niggas when we were, we were drinking and shit we were like brah if I was Bomani I won like I won like just now mm-hmm. but me I'm living in the US I'm I'm I'm, <coughs> I'm making the things together now for me to fucking have a family there bruh I, I don't mind you doing that but why don't you still to represent us yeah 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 represent represent yeah yeah I'll wear the don't, don't be like that just no come back home <laughs> 
I'll put on the clothing whenever I run and she's like, Even though it's hard. Let me go back to California and shit. Nah, I would <laughs> love okay. That would be dope. I would, I would the mural, the mural, it will. I mean, we'll probably commission it for six months, three months, mm-hmm. and um, I know when we take it down, people they will have an uproar. But it, you can take it down and put something else. So, mm-hmm. it's always, I, I always like to look for walls that will never, will never be like left alone. Mm-hmm. Can never be left alone. Yeah. Like the commissioning agents will never, the owners of the walls will never be like, no, we want to do something on that wall. Mm-hmm. So. That's E N K. That's E N K. But definition art. Yeah. We 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 um, yeah. We established and there's there's ugh, there's more to come, bro. There's more to come, especially in the selling of art. Now that um, the borders are kind of opening up, and there's, you know, I'm seeing some, I'm seeing some white girls in the club. You know, <laughs> I'm single, so I'm allowed to say that. Seems a white girl. I'm like, uh, go, where are you from, bro? I'm from Germany. I just like came. The, Being asked. Where they no, from? no, like, this love venture. They like adventure. They like art. Um, Europeans and internationals really buy. They really purchase art. Mm-hmm. Uh, we've never had a wave of Europeans buying art from us. We've just been selling to Namibians. Because I think like only, we've only sold like maybe three pieces out of our 50 to like a foreigner, like a European. Mm. All the other ones just Namibians, and I'm very happy with that. Um, business owners, people that are opening up their buildings and shit like that, they come to us and say, "We want art in our building. Mm. We don't want, we don't want those printed pieces. We want authentic art." Mm. So I give these call outs. I make these call outs. Definition Art has these call outs to say, "Yo, we are having an exhibition. Your art pieces. We take thirty percent." They send photos. I say, okay, that's cool, that's cool, that's cool. It's framed, wah, wah, wah. Mm-hmm. The condition, wah, wah, wah. Bring the piece, and then we have an exhibition. And then pieces are sold, the pieces are not sold. But I don't really like exhibitions. What? Why is it? Exhibitions, beca- because you have to theme the exhibition. Okay. And I don't like exhibitions for one person. I don't like solo exhibitions. Okay. I think that the NTN, uh, the National Art Gallery are doing well with that. They can do that. What we want to do is art auctions. Yeah. So we've done, we've done four art auctions already. And our fifth, we actually want to get a sponsor uh, for that. And eventually you get a bunch of artists bring their pieces and in the village... In the opera house, it's a beautiful facility. You know, speakers, mics, tables, chairs. Alice is there. Mm. Projector. And the pieces come out and the buyers start bidding. So oh, this will actually bid. Hmm? We'll actually bid for these things. Right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll be the guy that... $1,000. Oh, yeah, you know, that guy. That guy yeah. If I don't drink on that day, I'll yeah. be like that guy. But... Uh, our first auction we had at the village, we sold nine pieces out of 15. Two American ladies that just were sitting there and they were like, mm-hmm. bring those nine pieces. Damn. Those nine pieces are in America now. That's awesome. Awesome. So um, art auction mm-hmm. is our, we want to turn this company into a manual nigger company with his other nigger friend and the other chick on the side into a national type thing mm-hmm. where everyone's really focused on contributing mm-hmm. we get the sponsor for the art auction and that means that we get pieces from everywhere in the country and we have the auction uh, we can have it in different areas of the country we will stick with Vintu for now yeah. maybe have it three times a year getting the art pieces is, is our real forte ah. yeah and making it national, like it's an art auction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Get all the artists involved, mm-hmm. drive down to the city. Yeah. Get your money, mm. fuck it up, go home. Yeah. Just oh. like that. Okay. Because the selling of art, it, the, the, there's no consistent form of selling art in Namibia. There isn't. Mm-hmm. There's just exhibitions. And it's funny, arrogant. These. One thing that I would say about this one company mm. who had an exhibition recently, 
Oh my god, bro. I I don't I tweet a lot. I don't tweet bullshit. I don't vent on tweet. I don't vent on online because I know that she'll come back. Of course. But um clever enough to speak. I might not be clever enough to type, but I'm clever enough to speak. Mm-hmm. So in what I'm about to say like there's this one people there's one people uh, one group that had an exhibition recently and they had f- they had uh images of individuals Namibian individuals uh celebrities mm-hmm. right I was like bruh who is going to buy a photo of Gaza and put it in their house who's going to buy who's going to buy a photo <laughs> I'm making an example now because it oh, wasn't okay, Gaza. cool because <laughs> I was like yo what the there's, there's, a fuck? S- there's a small percentage of people that would buy a photo of Gaza they would or an image of Gaza who would buy it's not even a list it's B list and it's B list <laughs> celebrities and they they are framed pieces and they're selling these pieces for people to come buy yes we appreciate the artwork we appreciate the art of the photography or the imagery or whatever mm-hmm. but do you want me to buy this so I take it home and I look at this person who is this person mm-hmm. I don't know this person oh, I, I know yeah they, they, they opened up that good company that, that does that good work ne? oh uh, but me and my wife and his face in our house yeah. are you serious Unless you're a diehard fan. <laughs> so, <laughs> I hope they change it up a little bit from actual faces because I've had it's images. Portrait. Exactly. It's portrait. Ah. I've had portraiture that is, has been painted faces, of faces, right? Not of real human faces, just of abstract faces. Mm-hmm. And people are skeptical of putting that in their room, in their household. Okay. And there's one artist, Hage, who's in the States now, very good artist. He's very good at portraiture of faces. And I had to tell him for one commission, like, just draw something else. Because mm-hmm. people are skeptical about having faces in the house, yeah. which is true. Yeah. So <coughs> the art auction is one thing. The yeah. art, the selling of, sorry, the selling of art is, is that. And we will get that before this year ends. Okay. Um, that's for definition art. The other, you see, definition art is art and entertainment. Hmm. So the art portion is the art auction is that. Entertainment is getting people to appreciate art in art-related events, okay. which is like uh, paint and wine. Mm-hmm. And of course, the paint and wine is different because we have actors and actresses act out scenes while the people are painting. So, okay, mm-hmm. live entertainment. Yes. Okay. So set up the tables the people have their stations with their canvases everyone's there Mm -hmm. you have to obviously pay in advance to get your canvas Mm -hmm. and then we have actors and actresses prepare small skits before the before the time comes we've done we've done thriller and last week we did romantic romantic comedy Mm -hmm. so we asked the people paint their um, experience of the skit that was mm. paid b- before you okay that's just jog the memory that was the inspiration mm. Mm. Okay. Mm. okay okay they can paint it whatever they want we also have the option of paint whatever you want yeah um but we we try to keep it to the theme next week uh the second of october we have sci-fi which is we're going to fucking trip people out bro we're gonna yeah, be we're cool. gonna be at a at a parking lot at the village it's it's upstairs parking lot Mm-hmm. And hopefully the stars will be out <coughs> at that time. But we're going to have a, a conversation. I'm going to be like an alien. I'm going to talk to one person. Mm-hmm. And that person is Namibian. Mm-hmm. But the Namibian, why the alien is in America and he wants to talk to a Namibian. Why? Mm-hmm. Because Namibia actually houses the oldest people in the world. Okay. So the alien is going to say, I want to talk to the family of the oldest people human being in the world mm-hmm. ever and that is you mr iambo mm-hmm. you don't know it but you are the oldest descendant so i talk to that person i say we have to start a new world in capitalist blue <laughs> a galaxy far far away and i need to take you with me stupid that's a script that i can write in a small you know whatever that's that's quite and sounds like fun sounds like sounds like fun True, true. <laughs> I just, I actually, I actually just thought of that the other day, and uh, I was like, okay, yeah, let me just write like two pages of that, and then we'll perform. Fresh that. idea. Ah, 
and I'll perf- we'll perform that. And while the people the people paint aliens and and I know they'll do that. Yeah, and, spaceships, you know, UFOs, 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 and um, there'll be wine and there'll be candles and it's there'll be music. You know, we play our music. Mm. We play mm. we play our real music. That's one event, and it's every month. Every month we do paint and wine. Okay. And then we have philosophy and poetry. So pick. Philosophical topic. The the one that we have, which is next week Tuesday, mm-hmm. which is the fourteenth of September, is have we become less happy in the age of technology? That's the theme. That's the topic. That's our first topic that oh. we have. Okay. So everyone in attendance will obviously you know have their moment to chirp. Mm-hmm. I'll have two speakers. So it will be us speaking and a poet will come in citing a poem around the topic mm-hmm. about technology and shit like that so that will be that event and we'll go on like that we wanted the first one to be about death but we thought yeah people are dying with That's covid so more, yeah it's fucked up in a, in a sense, <laughs> in sense the, we'll leave that shit for later yeah. <clears throat> and everything subsides a bit but oh, many many is philosophical topics I, I can i can wrestle with the best of them when it comes to ph- uh, um, philosophy yeah i haven't studied philosophy but i watch a lot of a shitload of youtube videos of philosophy documentary nietzsche fucking socrates plato mm-hmm. these niggas kafka who has a book i've got a book of his it's one of the hardest books to find franz kafka the trial it's mm-hmm. hard to find it in a physical copy and i got it at a library i'm not a reader i don't read books bro you are finding who's ever watching this podcast until now is like two hours in maybe in, you know an hour and a half yeah i don't read books I don't read books bro i watch i watch content yeah. movies and shit like that and i steal the juices as if somebody reads books and steal the juices from them mm-hmm. I say I watch movies, and then the person's like, "No, fuck you! You like a Fast and Furious guy? You like you guy that's not serious?" Yeah. No, no. no Everybody no. got something to say. No, no, no. I, 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 I try and watch the best films mm. possible. Um, and then we have film night, the last thing from definition. So, oh, okay. paint and wine. Literally, just give out a whole fucking five five step program. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. We just three basic three steps. Okay. But yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, no, he's a yeah. fifth. Name. Four, yeah, four. Art auction, uh-huh. philosophy, uh-huh. paint and wine, mm-hmm. and then film night, which I won't go, sure? which I won't go into. Okay, but yeah, but Fine. we just discuss uh, forms of acting and directing and cinematography. Mm-hmm. So we watch the film and we talk about it afterwards. So oh. that is definition art. Yeah. It doesn't want to die. It was supposed to only be alive for three months. That was moved to five months, and then five months we left the mall, mm-hmm. and the village picked it up, and now it's at the village doesn't want to die bro dude these are the things you just got to take as a sign like look i'm not i'm not like <laughs> i don't know what i'm gonna say <laughs> not necessarily like uh, spiritual mm-hmm. like crazy like that mm-hmm. but i do go off vibes and i do go off um certain circumstances and uh, mm. vibes man mm. imagine like you said it's supposed to be like three months mm. and it turns out that's not the case like read into that See it as not done yet, man. Mm. You're far from done, as far as I'm concerned. Mm. Take that as a sign or whatever the fuck you're gonna call it. Maybe it's spiritual. I don't know. <laughs> it but just t- take it as a sign, man, because <coughs> you literally could have died three months ago, but you didn't. Are you religious? No. I'm more spiritual than religious. When's the last time you went to church? <laughs> Let me not even go there. <laughs> 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 and look, I have nothing against churches. It's just what's been happening lately question a lot of things i haven't been to church in like 12 years bro you beast bro <laughs> <laughs> you are a beast and 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 hey i mean fuck definition art e and k whatever i'm still staying at my parents house i stay in the the little car ga, ga garage just away from everybody yeah hey, bro I've got, my, I've got my stove you know i got my fridge you know that i'll you know eventually take with me when i you know get that my <laughs> still looking for a job job like i want a job job um Relating to art. Yeah, relating to art, I do have some ideas of who to speak to, mm-hmm. um, to finagle my way in. But I always want to give something to them. I want to bring something new to them mm-hmm. that they're lacking. And maybe I can be that person who does that. That's the only way I think it would work. Now I have focal papers. Mm-hmm. 
And the only way that I would want to continue architecture is to go back to Cape Town and do it there. Mm. Um, maybe work in Cape Town because I actually have a South African ID. And I can work there. Okay. So, but I wanna, I wanna work. I wanna try my shit here. The girl that I also on the fucking you know see. Um, <laughs> there's a girl that. Um, there's a girl name. Nah, let's not get into this. <laughs> <laughs> uh, She's not gonna hear this shit, but. Hey man. Oh, there's a girl bro. Yeah. There's one girl. Either way, but. Uh, what the journey's taking over now? Yeah. Wait, wait. Ah, uh, no, you just wanna basically. You really just? Oh, you're not really. No, not not yeah. really. Yeah. I don't even. I honestly don't feel bad about it. I used to, but it's like. Nah. You know what a nihilist is? What is you know what the athe- an atheist? Atheist, is? yeah. It, what is an atheist? <laughs> Dude, that has basically no religion. Doesn't believe in shit. Yeah. Oh. Except for basically the uh, just the way the world works, I guess. Mm. Sure. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah. An atheist is like a, it's like a scientist. Yeah. It's like somebody that doesn't believe in God. Yeah, they're more in the Big Bang theory type of shit. Like, yeah. just, it's really scientific. I don't yeah. know. Maybe that's correct. Yeah, yeah. it is good. It is okay. correct. It, they d- essentially do not believe in God. Okay. They just believe in like, if you don't believe in God, you believe in science, basically. Yeah. Uh, and a nihilist uh-huh. is what I was when I was growing up. Uh-huh. Um, it's a nihilist doesn't believe in anything. They don't believe in God. Not even science. They don't. They don't believe in the meaning of the science. Mm-hmm. Essentially, a nihilist is like somebody that says we are, we are just an evolved aspect of like an ant or an animal. The fact that I oh. can conceive that I'm talking on this podcast means nothing. I'm just an organ. I'm just an organism. Right. And nothing will mean sense when I die. All the stories that we've. I can totally disagree with that shit. All the stories that we've conceptualized with the stars and how we're gonna die and what's off the world, all of that shit means nothing because it's just an animal after an ant Evolving. after an ant. Yeah. yeah. Like I get it. Look, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna shit on people's beliefs. Mm. Believe what you want. Yeah. That's but I'm I'm in between all these things, man. Mm. Religion the religion was just fucked up based off what I've read, what I've watched as far as documentaries are concerned, and also what's happening now. These guys, these pastors, whatever. Look, if if you guys ever had to use the phrase in the Lord's name in vain, it would be with these guys. Some of these pastors. Mm-hmm. I don't understand why pastors have private jets. Mm-hmm. You know, because from what I understand, prophets don't do anything for materialistic gain or nothing. It's literally because they were given the word and they wanted to spread it regardless of what's going to happen. And right now it's happening. It, it's ridiculous, man. They say that it is the 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 whims, the rewards of my labor, mm. of spreading the word of God, is how I've been rewarded. <laughs> Tax taxless income. Income, that's crazy. <laughs> the <laughs> fact that they don't get tax, man. Yeah, that's one. Number two, that these motherfuckers are fucking kids. And mm. I'll say that online. I'll say that online. Do you know why I say that? Because even. <laughs> I even told my sisters, my, my, my family is 100% religious. Okay. Sunday and Wednesday, they go to church. Uh, but told them. Are you the rebellious one in the whole family? <laughs> but man, <laughs> like, in Wein- like in Weinberg in Cape Town, rebellious. Yeah. I, I just look at the facts. Like, how many priests have mm-hmm. been, how many priests have been busted that they were fucking kids? Nobody. Laundering, like a whole, it's a whole thing. And even if you fucking kids, but and I'm not. I'm just a pastor. I'm mm-hmm. a real pastor, right? I really trust the process mm-hmm. of you know of Jesus and whatever. Yeah, I know that you were having sex with kids, raping these kids. Yeah, uh, having sex. Wow, raping these kids, uh, molesting these kids, molesting these kids. I don't bust you. I don't what go to it? the newspaper and say this guy is doing this shit. Yeah, what does so it say about I'm you? Culpable. Yeah. Very true. Exactly. Very true. And I've never seen a report, and I've really researched it in the US and the world. I've never seen a report where a pastor is coming out and saying, These, this guy and this guy were, were raping kids. Because what happens, they don't get prosecuted by our laws, by our constitutional law. Uh, it's okay. the clergy that prosecutes them. Okay, okay. Which basically means moving them to another fucking shandy. Where they continue to do... do Honestly, I would love Fuck to talk to you about this because there's so many, <laughs> there's so many like, <laughs> and this is us just being like, 
on that conspiracy theory type shit. Yeah, it's, it's crazy, crazy, bro. It's, 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 it's that's, crazy. That's why I had the the artist named Theory. To be ah. honest. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but Emmanuel, uh, do, yeah. thank you so much, bro. Yeah, this bro. Was, yeah, bro. Yeah, bro. Another the those, gen is done. The gen is done. Is it done? Can you hear? It? It's the more. Okay, let me take the last bits. Can I take the last? What bits? you gotta do? It's for you guys. I don't. It's just, like it, a, it's just a plus for me, man. Get to drink with people I don't know and to find out they're pretty cool as well. Like, fuck it, that's a win for me. Yeah, bro. I hope I hope nothing on uh, this thing kind of oh, nothing can lead back. Well, you see, the 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 individual was on a podcast called State <laughs> of Mind, and yeah. he stated, and then the Chinese day on NBC and shit. Yeah. That'll be mad cloud for you, eh? I'm looking for club, but yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I'm a, I'm a rock with it. I'm a definitely be like yeah. That's that's my shit. You can always I can always back my words. Yeah, I'm gonna always back my words. I always know what I'm saying. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, <laughs> but no, but thank bro, thanks mm-hmm. for having me. Thank bro, this is I like this shit, bro. I like I like real podcasts. I like real podcasts. Mm-hmm. Like this is, and even that you don't have a video like right now. Like I'm I'm. People listen to this. I'm right here. Like I'm in the building. Like I'm in the house. I'm in the room. Yeah. But soon, when the videos and shit comes, we'll hear it. However, you want to evolve it, like yeah, yo, yeah. Well, gotta have me on again. But this is dope, man. Maybe you can come do me a mural or some shit. Oh. <sighs> yo, yo, yeah. You gotta have a wall that you have like the the guys, the people come by and shit. That's too much admin. <laughs> it is. <laughs> I would just love something unspecific. So mm. maybe this wall. I think it's something with that one. I'm still, I'll, I'll, yeah. I'll figure it out. Fuck it. Weird, weird. Uh, but dude, any last words, uh, listeners? Um, snap. When this comes out, mm-hmm. it will probably be before the end of September. Definitely. Then, yo, October, what can I say, bro? Definition Art, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Definition, if you know how to spell it, art. <laughs> and, you know, yeah. we have events going throughout... Bring your girl, bring your bring your mans. It's different from just drinking at the club, bruh. We still drink at our events. Mm-hmm. We still have wine. At our paint and wine, we have bottomless wine. Mm-hmm. Do you understand? So you can still drink and enjoy your time, but it's art-induced events. It's art-related nice. events. So you feel the experience of art, right? Mm-hmm. And for the ENK Institute for Public Art, like artists, designers, urban designers, um, you know, creatives looking for you guys we'll find you and we want to come all these people that are listening there's a guy in Ungwediva listening to this now mm-hmm. there's a guy in Khobabas listening to this now there's a guy in Hopefully. in Khurikhas <laughs> I don't know where Khurikhas is yeah. <laughs> we are gonna come there and we want you as an artist to create for your town mm-hmm. and give the respect to your town from your experience of your town yeah. So we coming, bro. Don't. Uh, I'll give you a, a haiku. I'll give you a little bit of a thing. Ochivarongo, mm-hmm. we are coming to you next month. Yeah. Best believe, guys, get paid for your efforts, man. Yeah, yeah, one hundred percent. We're not playing no games, man. Yeah. We're not. Oh, we will pay you next month. You understand the yeah. the the sponsor hasn't. Be, no, no, no. We are. I am a hundred percent trans. We are hundred percent transparent with this thing. We are registered. We don't play no games. The purpose is to get artists paid because. We believe hashtag, yes. vin, uh, what is it, Vision 2030? Yeah. We have a hashtag is Vision 2030 with art. With art. Yeah, I think it's time the visual artists have a say before 2030. I think we can kind of save the country. It kind of seems bleak at this point. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck it, man. Nine Yo. more years. Thank you, man. Yeah. Daniel. Ah, bro. 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 You guys heard that. Thanks for having me, bro. Thanks for having me. Nah, I can't wait to see what you guys are going to get up to in the next uh, five, six months. Yeah. Uh, we're going to do yeah. this again. Got fun with it again, like mm. always. But uh, I appreciate you, man. Weird, bro. Thanks, thanks for having me, bro. That's yeah. weird, bro. That's weird. I'm not just saying that for the podcast. I'm actually looking at the guy and saying, yo, it's dope. This yeah, is yeah, dope. It, it kind of comes off fake sometimes. You're like, you didn't know me, motherfucker. <laughs> Like that, man. I don't, that's the whole point. I'm trying to get to know you, and it was oh, so yeah. far solid. I love it. I love what you're doing. Oh, yeah. I can't wait. Oh, yeah, I fucking it's can't a passion. Wait. It's a passion. I wake up every day happy, bro. Yeah, yeah. As you should. Yeah, bro. As you fucking yeah, should. Bro. And with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, make sure you guys do whatever you got to take to get this podcast up and about. And with that being said, peace.
type of lifestyle that we live in over no here is not the same. People say they never gon' change, but they change. Times are moving faster, ain't no time to switch a lane. Keep me out of range, they say nothing strange. Load my ammo in my clip and I go happy.